We got Mr. O.B. Wallace here from Angier, North Carolina. He's going to show us how to rig a sand flea so that you can catch some pretty fish like he's got in his cooler right here. Those are, that is a pretty, pretty catch of mullets. Uh, there's 14 or so, and there are some nice Caught sized fish. Caught them in fish. less than an hour. Caught them in less than an hour, the man said. So, Mr. Wallace, we'll turn it right over to you, and you show us how to rig up a sand flea on a hook. I need to talk it through or what? Sure, if you like. First thing I always do in rigging up a flea is you need to break off your sides on it. Just that gets some smell going through the water, don't get, it? That gets the smell, and I think they can see the little uh, little eggs. I've always heard that it mm -hmm. was called little orange-looking stuff in the side of the body. Take your hook and go through the claw. You can feel it when it goes through, and just before it pops out in the back, you can feel it on your finger. That's uh -huh. where I stop. Okay. It's ready to throw. Now, what size hook are you, are you using there, Mr. Wall? Use a three aught stainless steel. Bought them down at East Coast. All right. Drop rig, two hook. I use a fluorocarbon leader, about a 17 pound fluorocarbon. I think it's about a 17 pound regular line. Okay. As you can see, it's about three feet long. That's right. And uh, he's ready. All right, you and you got you a, uh, what about a three ounce? Uh... Three ounce weight's what I use. All right. Usually three ounce will work in any conditions. If it gets above three, it's usually getting too rough to fit. And I think y'all notice that he don't have a store-bought rig. No, you have to tie these up your own. That's, That's right. Tie them up, it'll drop loose. And uh, I think they have three alt hooks. I mm -hmm. use stainless hooks so you don't have to constantly replace. Right. That's all there is to it. Use a swivel. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Wallace. I, right. I greatly appreciate it, and the folks, uh, the folks back home and on the web will too. Thank you, now. Thank you. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Chris here. I'm going to show you how to tie Mr. O.B. Wallace's rig. Uh, granted, I'm not using fluorocarbon. However, Mr. OB suggests you use 17-pound uh, fluorocarbon for uh, your rigs. I'm using some dark black Power Pro just so it'll stand out here uh, amongst this and uh, make it a little easier for you to see. Um, first thing he does is uh, he'll tie a snailed loop rig or snailed loop, and uh, what he'll do, you'll you make you just an overhand loop here. And start running your tag in inside the loop four or five times something like that find just about the middle of those twists and open that up just like that take the bottom of this loop make you a little eye and push it right through there probably should take my visor off. And notice that gives you a, a nice uh, nice knot that stands out from the line to kind of hold that line away from the rest of your uh, your rig. Um, to attach the hook, you can just pinch that little eye shut. And hopefully it'll work with this power press. It's kind of big. And push that loop through the eye of the hook back around the back of the hook and pull it down and uh, that's that, that's a good way to attach your hooks to your line and to your leader and if you'll notice in the video he uh, he had him a he had him a clip uh, swivel at the bottom to tie that on I just used my regular fisherman's knot that I use uh, so I, I just put the, the swivel on my line, make a loop, 
come back down toward that and go inside that loop that I just made. Yeah, three or four times. Cinch it. Pull it down. Let that cinch down there. And you can open that swivel up. Clip your, your weight on. And essentially the only thing that's really going to spin a whole lot in the surf is your weight when you're bringing it in. It'll kind of propel her a little bit like that through the water. And uh, that, that's where you'd probably get your line twist. And uh, you know, fish, fish might twist your line up when they get on there a little bit, but it, it, it's not a huge problem. So uh, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just do that dropper loop again up here. Um, we'll make that loop. Just the first overhand loop. Take our tag end, run it inside that loop. Like that. Find just about the middle, open it up, make a little needle eye, pass it through here, back through that little loop, the middle of the loop. Cinch that up, make you another little needle eye, get it kind of small, it's kind of tough to do with the Power Pro. Push it through the eye of the hook, back around the back of the hook, pull it tight. And uh, Mr. OB, uh, I noticed on his rig, um, he, he, he just attached it with a... Uh, um, with a double uni knot, um, which uh, I'm not going to demonstrate in this video. We, we can get that another time. If you wanted to, you could just put another swivel here and then attach your line to that. You could just tie a loop like this, uh, what I call a surgeon's loop. Just double your line, make a loop, go inside two or three times. One, two, three. Pull it tight. And uh, you got a loop to attach your line to if, if you're not uh, familiar with using a double uni knot. Um, I would prefer the double uni knot or an Albright knot um, attaching this leader because it makes it a little bit sleeker, uh, kind of goes through the eyes easier, and uh, there's less for the mullets to see in the water. Uh, at times when the water's clear, they can be particular, and that's why we suggest using a fluorocarbon leader for this. And um, uh, in the video, Mr. OB talked about a 3 alt hook. I think he actually meant a number 3 hook. 3 alt, 3 alt's a little bit large. But uh, a number 3 hook, uh, which is what I've got here. And uh, it's a long shank eagle claw hook. I believe this is an 066 hook. And uh, that's, a, that's a great hook for uh, catching sea mullets, black drum in the surf. And uh, even large spots. But uh, thanks a lot. And... Uh, I uh, hope you guys come see us at East Coast Sports. We've got everything you need. Have a good day.